Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two, making the thread part of the screw. If you didn't watch part one, you might want to watch this. I've got my nudge factor set on eight. I'm going to hit the plus key, and I'm going to move the right arrow key down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to left-click no fill. There are several ways you could do this, but I'm going to hold down, make a rectangle and put it about in the middle of our screw. And you, if you're gonna make it for real, you'd wanna make sure it is. But we're gonna get just above our line, and then we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool and fill this in. By doing that, now my line there is not a, in my screw, and I'm gonna, now I'm gonna left click, no fill, right click, outline. So now I've got a little bit of a curve there. So basically, uh, I'm not interfering with the head of my screw. Now, there are several ways you could put the thread. Uh, the gentleman that made the video that I'm kind of copying just made a rectangle. Turn it into a, this is what I, you know, if you didn't know what he was doing, you couldn't follow along. I'm not faulting him. He just, uh, people are going to learn a lot from watching and hearing. Now, whenever you see anything jump like that, Go back, because it, it could really mess you up. So now I can take away my box. Matter of fact, I can take away the whole box. I don't need it anymore. I was just using it for reference. We're, we can add it later. I'm going to add the box up more to the top of the screw, holding down the control button. And there are several ways you could do this. I'm going to use the envelope tool. And I'm going to take these two nodes and I'm going to just move them up. I was going to say I was going to nudge them up, but I'm just going to move them up. And then maybe take these three and just kind of nudge them down. Kind of give it the offset of a, a, a thread. And your artistic ability can play around with that. So then control D, you want to control D this, and then grab that corner right there and put it right there. And then you can control D to your heart's content. This is the advantage of control D over, I don't know how that's happening. I must have hit something on the keyboard. That wasn't very pretty. <clears throat> Control D, grab that one. And then you've got, yeah, I could keep going forever and ever and ever. Now you just need to do a couple of things. It, and, and there are screws that are just like that. Doesn't really matter. You could do this in a number of ways. I'm going to use the three point curve and go from about there to there and then just give it a little bit of a round bottom. And you could play around with that and add nodes and give it a little bit of a, you know, peak, play around, however you want to do it. Make it more like that, you know, whatever you want to do. And then all you need to do is kind of add shadowing to this. And what I would do up top is just take a two-point line and go up and up because that could either be the next thread or it could be whatever you wanted it to be. So then you just need to give it some color and you could really play around and it would look better if it was a lot longer, but to save time in the video, uh, you could almost do some shadowing of this or uh, interactive feel, but we're just gonna use a smart feel and we're basically gonna get rid of our lines, but I'm gonna add lines here in just a second. And then just grab all that and put line, lines back on it. Now looking back on it, I, I should have maybe, uh, when I could make my lines darker, when you're close up, you could double click on your pen tool and make them one point. And you always want to scale with object. 
in case you want to make this screw bigger. That looks pretty good. Um, you could do a lot with it. You could maybe even group this all and, and, and make it more look like a 3D, kind of like the screw, because we are coming straight down. I might play around with that and make another video. Um, but anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.